Uh, we got a guest coming up in the next segment. Kurt Nemo runs InfoWars.com. He's joining us. National Level Exercise 2009 NLE. Homeland Security FEMA with troops and personnel from Australia, Canada, Mexico, the United Kingdom, and other countries in NLE 09. Kurt reported yesterday from a Pentagon press release the Israeli anti-terror forces are helping uh, run that operation as well. So, uh, Kurt Nimmo, I mean, this is really, this is really happening. This is really going on. They're really running acclamation with troops everywhere, running checkpoints, PR, running jaws of life, army helicopters landed, car wrecks now. Oh, we're just the army. You know, it's all part of getting the troops feeling good about helping the citizens, getting the police used to it. Oh, it's the army. That's kind of like when the police and the sheriff's department work together on the county line. <laughs> yeah, boy. And it's all oh, foreign troops are here helping. After all, the biggest recruiting centers are now in Ukraine, Mexico City, and Manila, Philippines. Hiring felons, illegal aliens. The whole military is basically foreigners now. I mean, this is hellish, Kurt. And they openly train everywhere with the youth brigades and with the troops to take on veterans and gun owners. My God, Kurt, do you think they're planning to go ahead and just start a civil war? They're going to start hunting patriots down and forcing us to fight them? Well, we know history tells us that precisely what they're going to do. There's no national domestic terror threat in this country. The only threat is the government, and they will set up false flag situations to do this so they can consolidate their power. Continue, Kurt. You know, it's interesting. You see these little bits of news here and there. On Memorial Day, the Marines used uh, they used a helicopter to land in Staten Island in a park. And it's interesting to note that the citizens sat there and ooed, nod, and clapped their hands as these soldiers jumped out in full battle gear, and you know, and act like they were attacking, you know, Fallujah or something. It's it's insane. Ooh, I just forgot. Uh, whatever the big paper is in Fort Benning, Georgia, in that town. There were two big articles, MSNBC covered it too, in 2000, in the year 2000, two special forces officers got killed, or special forces trainees, because they jumped out on police at road stops and tried to disarm the police, and the military thought that it was a real attack. So they've even gotten killed doing this yeah it's like friendly fire it happens i mean if they don't the, tell them what's going on that's what's going to happen the other one was 98 in miami delta force fired into a restaurant into tables people were eating at in houston in 98 delta force crashed helicopters in a drill maybe you should add that when's your big report on this coming out at infowars.com well i'll get back to work on it after i get off the phone with you about an hour or so okay you've already got this article linked folks want to find it Guard units trained for militia attacks. I've been kind of frothing and interrupting. In the one minute left, we've got anything else? No, that's about it. It's just people need to, uh, around the country, uh, it's interesting we got this tip from uh, an InfoWars reader. So they need, if, if folks are, are seeing this kind of behavior or, or finding local press articles, they need to send them to us because we need to cover this more in depth. Well, I mean, I see articles every day sent to me by listeners where every police department has regular Army and Marines in their offices. CIA setting up local offices, the news reports. I mean, they are taking over, Kurt. Well, the CIA, the CIA's been doing that since the nineties. That that's that's fully integrated now. There's CIA in police stations, and so are the FBI. So they have that integrated already. It's, it's well, there's there. also the article where state police all over are announcing they're fully federalized, like in uh, Arizona. Right. And then every time we get a governor or state reps try to dis uh, declare state sovereignty, the state police show up and start threatening them and following them, like in Oklahoma. The state we also, police we also covered the fact that uh, local police uh, agencies are getting uh, grenade launchers and automatic weapons from the, the Department of Homeland Security. God, they work for the foreign bankers. They're rolling this country. They are just taking us over hardcore. I mean, this is it. This is total occupation, total destruction, total takeover of the republic. It's really happening. Police and military wake up. Citizens wake up. Say no. Thanks, Kurt Nemo at InfoWars.com. Stay with us. ACOLABLUE.com is the premier atmospheric water generator. Grabs the moisture right out of the air, seven and a half gallons a day with their smaller unit. Very affordable, then passes it through seven filters, including carbon and reverse osmosis, neutral pH, no pollutants or toxins, absolutely the best water you've ever had. 
literally drink it. 800-691-6043, 800-691-6043, or acolablue.com. How do you spell that? E C O L O blue.com. acolablue.com or banners up on infowars.com and prisonplanet.com.